Hi, welcome to Atinesia. I'm Laurent Timmermans and today we'll be discussing about the Hong Kong budget 2018-2019. Uh, Hong Kong just released its budget 2018-2019 uh, a few days ago. Now, what will be important for us as entrepreneurs? What are the highlights? I would like to use this video just to pinpoint uh, two specific things that will be important for us. Uh, the first one, there will be a tax rebate for uh, for the period, for actually the period 2017-2018, so before the 1st of April um, 2018. Okay, so basically this, this we, we are straight into it now. So if you were operating last year, there will be a tax rebate. The tax rebate will be 75% and will be capped at 30,000 Hong Kong dollars. So what that means, imagine you make, I take two cases here. So I have, I have my papers here. Uh, the first one will be a case where you made 100,000 Hong Kong dollars profit for the, the period. So normally in Hong Kong, we have a 16.5% tax, which means that will be 16.5 thousand Hong Kong dollars that you're supposed to pay in tax. Um, but you will get a rebate of 75%, which means uh, a rebate of 12,375 uh, yeah, Hong Kong dollars. Okay, So what you would actually pay will be 4,125. So in tax, it's pretty sweet, you know, uh, you, you take 100,000 Hong Kong dollars out of the business and you will just pay 4,125 uh, Hong Kong dollars in tax. That means it's a, an actual uh, tax rate of 4.125%. Uh, so that was quite a simple example. Now imagine you make a little bit more money, you make like a million Hong Kong dollars. At that moment, 16.5%, that means 165,000 Hong Kong dollars. With the rebate, that will be uh, the rebate 75% of these, that will be 123,750. Um, but as you remember, it's capped at 30,000. So you will only have a 30,000 maximum rebate, which means you will take your tax 165 minus 30K you will pay 135,000 in tax. So that means your tax will be about 13.5% instead of 16.5. So this is a good news, mainly if you don't make a lot of profit with your company, like a uh, relatively small profit, but you can see even with a million, which is not nothing really, uh, you, you are still at 13.5, you know, so that's great. Uh, after above that, I mean, you will, you will get really close to the actual 16.5 rate. Okay, so that was for the first update, which is for uh, everybody, actually. Uh, no matter you live in Hong Kong or you operate your Hong Kong business from abroad. Now, there is another update, and this one is more specifically for you if you live in Hong Kong, if you're a Hong Kong resident. Okay, so I need, I need to get my papers. And here we are. So... Uh, <clears throat> Things have changed a little bit here. So um, what has changed is the individual tax, you know, the income tax. So uh, Hong Kong has um, a different threshold when it comes to, to income tax. So the first 132,000 Hong Kong dollars, for example, in Hong Kong are not taxed, zero percent. And then after, in the past, it was going by, by um, 45,000 by 45,000, we had different tax rate. Uh, now it will be 50,000 by 50,000 and also the tax rate had, has changed. And that's quite a good news because in the past, um, I, can, I, can, I, will, I will actually cut these and put it here so that you can pause and see the difference. But in the past, we couldn't get as much money out of, of the company as salary. So everybody was paying himself like 20,000 Hong dollars if you had a company in Hong Kong. But now you will be able to pay yourself a little bit more and uh, the, uh, the tax rate for what you will give yourself will be about 4.8 percent so less than five percent which is quite good um <clears throat> so on the first 132,000, it will be zero percent the next 50 will be two percent next 50,000, six percent next 50,000, ten percent next 50,000, 14 percent all the rest 17 percent until you reach uh an average of 15 percent which will be the standard rate in hong kong now what that means is like 
you should pay yourself as an entrepreneur around 332,000 Hong Kong dollars a year. And, um, and with these, you will only pay, as I said, 4.8% tax. The rest, there is really no point to take more salary because you'll be taxed at 17%, while the corporate tax is at 16.5 and the dividend tax in Hong Kong is zero. So anything you take more, you will pay 0.5% more than if you take it as a dividend. So really no point, okay? But that's pretty sweet. That means we can pay ourselves a little bit more in salary and pay uh, really little tax.